Hello Phaser, hello YouTube, this is Alex Vega, the new radical for Frolic to Godlike. For the many of you who aren't familiar, the idea of this series is to go online and hopefully hone my skills, and as the title suggests, you will hopefully see me go from Frolic to Godlike in... We have two opponents lined up today. First up is Ryan Hunter uh, from OptionSelect.com, a very strong and smart Street Fighter cross Tekken player. He's uh, running Julia and Steve. Uh, Julia being probably one of the most unfamiliar characters overall, I think, at least in my experience. Mostly because I don't play any Julia against any Julias. Uh, but he has very strong footsies, good spacing on his normals. Uh, I'm just going in trying to go safe right now. Honestly, when I was playing this match, I was really nervous because uh, you can't see it, but his rank is uh, A+, plus, I believe. Tons of battle points. He's really smart. And uh, Steve seems to be getting a lot of damage in, but I think I think Julia is his stronger character. He probably didn't capitalize on that, probably due to lag, because this isn't recorded live, this is a replay off my console. But that could have been just lag, because I, th I think I remember there being a little bit of lag. Tags in Steve through a uh, boost combo. Builds up counter hit by charging. Tags me with it, and that's it. He gets his combo. And uses the meter to take out Kazuya. Took almost no damage that round. You can't win if you can't hit. Ah, look at Kazuya, so unhappy. Alright, round two. Trying to play it a little safer, I believe. That's why I'm throwing more fireballs. Though I've never been the best zoner. I could have capitalized so much better off that crouching medium kick. I could have done it, at least in the EX donkey kick. I had three meters. I could have done pretty much anything I wanted. Tags in Julia. Not exactly sure why, but I think that's just just because he's more comfortable with Julia. Get some pressure in, in the build-up. Not build-up, but I pressure him into jumping. I want to say I did that on purpose, but I think I was just lucky. Because uh, I never do tactics like that. I don't know how that came out of me. Takes Kazuya to the corner. Builds up counter hit again. I beat it out this time because it's a really slow normal. Well, it's a different normal this time than it was last time. Overhead. Can't convert into that though. Or off of that, I mean. Boost combo into Julia. Uses the meter tag and Steve. Misses the combo. I was probably trying to get an electric out. But honestly, I was probably better off in the position I was at because I'm not sure how punchable standing heavy punches. And he takes the round. We can keep at this, but it'll end the same. Second match against Mr. Jibbo. Uh, the self-proclaimed general of the Street Fighter Cross Tekken Defense Force. Uh, he runs a couple of teams, I know. He's uh, This is his secondary, I think. It's Poison and King. Poison's got like a record that's pretty that can, it's, uh, pretty good against pun or punishing against certain stuff. I am not familiar with King at all. I know he has a low grab and a high grab, which is just specifically those, but that's about it. So I don't know why I'm being so aggressive. That probably wasn't a donkey kick on purpose. Get to combo into combo kick into the knees. I don't know what they're called, to be honest. That was a really quick round. Jeez. Okay, round two. Uh, by the way, these matches are all played in the order that uh, I played them that day, so... You hopefully see me improve, progress a little better against the matchups. As this is pretty much the only time I'm learning, the first time I'm learning these matchups. That should have been EX Donkey Kick, I don't know what I was doing. Or I don't know what I was thinking, rather. I could have done some, so much more just like in the last round. The Jaguar step is really weird, I don't know how to deal with that. That was a bad tag on my part, terrible tag. I was indecisive, I decided to tag it last minute. I should have waited it out, I think. Luckily, I don't get tagged by his armored move. High, or low grab, I was standing, luckily. Boost combo into Poison. Gets his combo. Really weird looking, but he gets it. Ah, another really bad tag. I should have waited it out. I should really learn the name of these moves, too. I'm trapped in the corner. I don't know what to do. Air Tatsu is not that great. Get my... Okay. Drop the combo. I was trying to tag in Kazuya. I get the same thing into EX Shore you can. Don't take the round though. I should have honestly tried that combo again. I probably would have killed if not tagged in Kazuya. And that was just terrible. But he doesn't get too much of a punish off of it. I get in, I'm, po I'm poisoned. Okay, damage. That's about close to 400, I think. With characters having, on average, a thousand health. 
Luckily he misses it, but he punches me in the face to take the round. That's that. Alright, the run back with Ryan Hunter. Uh, this is in an endless lobby, so basically the winner stays, and there was a few other matches in between because there was like, one more player. So, tags in, gets a combo into a launcher, gets in Steve, tags in Julia back in through another boost combo. Or an extended boost combo, I guess. Julia has a bunch of really safe normals, uh, something that I guess I didn't should have mentioned before. But uh, she's really fun. Gets that strange, they get a lot of weird counter hit stances in this game, or animations. And another really fast round. Okay, trying to be a little more patient. Look at that. Such reach on that, on that, I think, standing medium? And the counter hit was even longer. Look at that. Corner combos. Doesn't go for the counter hit setup. Or the counter, or the supercharge for... Ah, really bad up, random uppercut on my part. It's only random, you know, if it doesn't hit. Alright. Is that a command grab? Launcher into uh, Julia. Now he's going for that counter hit. I beat it out again because he likes to go for that slow normal. Maybe it does that sit down counter hit animation. That has a lot of uh, hit stun on it? Or what I call it hit stun for his counter hit? I don't know. Gets that combo again. He used to do a different combo when I used to watch him play, but I guess that one does more damage now. Even though this one doesn't end hard knock down. Hard knockdown means you stay on the floor longer, you can't quick rise. That actually probably wasn't electric. I, oh, that was probably an electric. Okay, there was an electric right there. Oh no, cuz- Ah, oh, that was so bad. Slaughter hook, that move should not be used if it's, uh, unless it's hit confirmed, then I paid for it. Even though I tried to tag out, I paid for it. Alright, another match against Ryan Hunter. Alright, being a little more careful, that Donkey Kick is super unsafe, especially in the recent patch. Uh, version 106 you can see in the bottom of the screen. Getting good damage, actually. I was surprised when I was playing too that I'm getting good damage. Got the overhead com converted off of it, but I did a stupid combo. I could have done so much better. At least I think I could have. Ah, uh, nothing. I could have done that into a boost combo back into Ryu. I could have done much bigger damage. Now Julia's gonna get back up to like 40% life while Steve's pounding away. Ooh, I should have done something after that. Doesn't take the round. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was lag again. Or maybe he's just trolling me uppercuts. I think by now, I think I figured out that I have to zone Julia out because I think that's the best course of action. I think he was expecting me to, to not do anything and go for a reset. But I, I want to say I was ready for it, but maybe I was just pressing buttons. Ooh, I don't know. I think that was a. I'm not sure what happened there. That weird stance that Steve. The animation that Steve did. I think maybe it was a counter move? I don't know. I'm not familiar with Steve's moveset, but. I get alright damage on Steve. Not great, another like four, close to 400. Ooh, I get my <laughs> raw EX slaughter hook, which is, I guess, I don't think it has invincibility, but it's pretty quick on startup, I think. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe you could have come up, or maybe you just got the wrong move. It's going for the kill. Doesn't quite get it, I don't think. No, not enough damage. She's a lot of meter, but doesn't quite finish me off. I think I buy a little time. Ah, I did a stupid mistake again. I'm trying to get that set up. He's waiting for me to backdash, but or a uh, roll. So he backdashes on me. Ooh, that animation. Jeez. That counter hit. I think I go for an uppercut. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, and uses Steve's not so often seen fireball. We can keep at this, but it'll end the same. Blue team wins. It's all or nothing. 
Alright, second match with Jibbo. Uh, the only reason I'm on the player one side is that there was a little bit of lag after that match with uh, or one of the matches with Ryan Hunter, so he had to leave the lobby and come back in later. That's the only reason why I'm in player one. It's not because I won anything. So yeah, uh, he's running Poison and King again instead of his main team of Jin and Sagat. That reach on uh, Poison's normals gets, a, gets him a boost combo into King. I don't know why I tried to grab off that juggle state. And uh, uh, King has that anti-air, um, what do you call it, counter. Which uh, makes you want to not jump in attack and try to bait it, but uh, from what I hear from Jibbo, he actually has a few other options you can do, so... I don't know how to approach that, so I guess I'll do more research. So Kazuya down on his last legs. I do another EX slide hook, that's a really bad habit that I don't... I never had until I started playing these guys. And the counter finishes me off for the round. I'm trying to zone poison out, but she's a really good zoner because of her uh, her projectile. I, th I like to think I got a max range on that donkey kick, which made it a little bit safer. But I think pretty sure poison could punish it anyway because of that reach. Again, I say really say you should hit confirm the donkey kick, but I don't think I'm doing that at all. It's a really scrubby habit of mine. I dropped my combo. That hurts so bad, and that hurts even worse. Lucky random uppercut on my part. Oof. That move has armor. That's the reason why it sort of acted like a counter. Gets the giant swing on me. Holy crap. That's what happens when you raw tag as much as I do. And the rising uppercut doesn't go through the armor, obviously. Juggles into super. Kazuya's really going to get hurt. Oh, goodness. Uh, King has two, uh, two different versions of that. There's one where he sort of snaps your leg and there's one where he butt busters you, so I'm not sure which one does more damage and what's the difference in situation, I guess, but anyway, I prolong the inevitable a little bit, but his armor takes me out. Ugh, jeez, Kazuya. Alright, that's gonna wrap it up for this week's episode. I got a few more matches from that session uh, waiting on my computer, so don't worry about that. A few more matches with Jibbo, a few more matches with Ryan Hunter, and if you couldn't already guess, I get bodied pretty hard too. So stick around for more content. I promise you won't see me getting bodied this badly in future episodes though. Alright, thanks for watching and check out our site and our YouTube channel for some more content.